When talking about managing our add-ons, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the add-on performance advisor, which is this bar right down here at the bottom of our screen. Now you may have seen this from time to time. It kind of pops up on its own. Uh, quite honestly, the way to get it up is to go ahead and enable or disable some add-ons or install some. And if you don't know about add-ons, check the videos that we have already about our add-ons. And those are toolbars, web slices, accelerators, and search providers. You can check out all of those and find out about how to install them, how to download them, how to use them. But right now, we're going to manage them. As you might imagine, when we install all of these add-ons, some of them might take up some of our resources. And what the add-on performance advisor here is telling us, hey, we can speed up our browsing by disabling some of those add-ons. So let's go ahead and let's choose some add-ons. Let's take a look. Let's click here. And we see that we have how many seconds or tenths or hundredths of a second uh, it takes to run each of these add-ons and the one that really stands out is the AVG safe search well let's go ahead and let's disable that uh, let's disable cool iris the Microsoft search helper I think I'm gonna leave that and as you can see uh, the rest of these don't really take up a whole lot of time look at that that's uh, two tenths of a second I think I can live with that so I'm gonna go ahead and say done but that of course is not the only way to manage our add-ons let's go ahead and let's take a look up here in the upper right corner of our browser you see our little gear here this little blue highlighted uh, it looks like a gear a sprocket a cam that is our tools button let's click there and from that little drop down menu we will choose manage add-ons there you go and this is where we can go ahead and decide what add-ons we want to use and what we don't want. We'll start with toolbars and extensions. Now we have the Cool Iris add-on and you see we already disabled that. Remember that we did that with the add-on performance advisor, so that's okay. The PDF link helper, we're going to leave that. As far as the toolbars, I think all of these are pretty good. Now let's take a look down here. These are not available, but they're still enabled. Well, I don't know if they're taking up any resources or not. It doesn't say that they are, but let's disable them anyway. So I'm going to select that and down here in the lower right corner, disable. The weather channel toolbar. Let's take a look at that. That's up here. And again, watch my video on toolbars to see how I got that. I can either disable it here or I can click, see the little X over here on the left edge of my toolbar. If I click there, I'll have to close this first. It'll ask me if I want to disable it there. But let's go back to managing our add ons this way. And I'm simply going to disable it from there. Now you may have noticed that. Even though I disabled these, they're still here. There is no way to uninstall these. You can either enable them or disable them. But that's okay. If they're disabled, they're not using any resources. They're not loading. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at some other add-ons, our search providers. And the search providers, unlike the toolbars and extensions, I can go ahead and remove those. I'm going to click here on ask.com because I don't really need that. And I'm going to go down to my lower right corner and click on the remove button. And I can do that with any of these. I can even go ahead and right now the Google search provider is set as my default. I can change that to the Yahoo one if I want or any of the other ones. And you'll see I can change the listing order. I can move that up. If that's the default, I probably want that to be first. And I'm going to take, you know what, I'm going to remove Bing. How about that? I can even go ahead and disable this instead of removing it by clicking on Disable down here. But I'm going to enable that. I like that one. Let's take a look at Accelerators. And the Accelerators 
also can be disabled or removed or set as the default. I'm going to remove the Facebook one because I don't have a Facebook account. I'm also going to remove the search the IMDB and I think that I will set the Wikipedia as my default. One more thing I want to show you, and I meant to show you here when I was in search providers, but I clicked away from it too quickly, uh, is this little checkbox right here that says, prevent programs from suggesting changes to my default search provider, down here in the lower left corner. I usually like to have that one on. That way, you're not going to get, if you've ever gone and downloaded or installed something, and get that little pop-up that says, would you like to make this your home page or this your search provider? That'll go ahead and help prevent that. And that is what you need to know to manage your add-ons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.